There are many different types of graph. All of them is used for different reasons, but all of them give information that is easier to read. A line graph for example. This is the data of eaten apple for each month. Remember, data is the information you collect in an investigation. Let's make a line graph by labeling the data. After I add label, I can begin to plot the data. When you plot the data on the right spot on the graph like this, at that point, and plot that point. And now, each point of the graph shows the number of the apple I ate that month. Tapos, i-connect mo lang sila to see the line graph. Then, add our title, Apple Time. And, done! Tapos ng ating line graph. Let's now discuss a bar graph. A bar graph is a chart or graph that presents categorical data with rectangular bars with height or length, proportional to values that they represent. The bar graph can be plotted vertically or horizontally. For example, the number of students coming from different colonies from school. It is shown in following data. Let's make a bar graph using this data. First, we will draw the x-axis and y-axis. Now, we will show various categories on the x-axis, name of the colony. Next, we will show the number of students on y-axis. We can take one unit is equals to nine students. Because all of the number are multiply of nine, so we will able to represent this number. In this way, we will show the numbers 0, 9, 18, and etc. on the y-axis. The maximum value here is 54. But for our convenience, we have to take in numbers up to 63. Now, we will draw a bar. We will represent the data in a form of bar graph. The number of students came from colony 1 is 36. So, we will draw a bar in colony 1 that length up to 36. And we will do the same thing in the other for all colony of equal distances. This is the vertical bar graph. We can also draw it horizontally like this. And now, we're done! So now, let's tackle pie chart. So I have given data here. So first thing we have to do is talk about relative frequency. So we will compute the percentage of all this table. So we will get the total frequency. And I compute 216 of its total. So, the relative frequency is what is the percentage of 25 out of 216. So that 25 divided by 216 is equals to 0. 1157 or about 11.6%. We can compute the same thing here in green. 55 divided by 216 is equals to 0. 0.2407 or 24.1% So the idea of pie chart now is we are going to create a circle and divide into a pie slices and the size of pie chart correspond to relative percentage So, if you're going technical here, to precisely create a pie chart, you can take this percentage and multiply by 360 degrees. Of course, you need to convert percentage to the decimal point before you multiply it to the 360 degrees. 
and it about 38 degree. Of course, you could use a protractor to make a perfect pie chart. But the reality is, most of the time, people use computer to create a pie chart. But now, I will give you example that is pretty close. And the graph will have to be like this.